So in today's video, it is going to get a little bit wild. I'm going to be mixing up a few different colors. I'm going to be manipulating the number of coats so that way we can get the color that I want to do on my next project dialed in. And ultimately, I want you to help me decide what that final color is going to be. And now, you're watching. If you want things to get extra spicy on Valentine's Day, send over a nude photo to your ex channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me yet again on another video. So my next paint job, the car that I'm currently working on actually, the base color is going to be black. The jams are black, the engine bay is black, and it is ultimately going to stay that way. I'm just focusing on the exterior color of this car, so I want my new coat to remain black, but I want to put a custom pearl on top of that. I'm going for, well initially, when I was talking with Ava, my daughter, she wanted it to be purple. So let's do a purple, no problem whatsoever, but the problem is it's really hard to find a good purple unless you're using House of Color, and House of Color tends to be really expensive and hard to get. I had some of the local guys able to track some down for me, but I thought it would be a little bit more fun if we can see if we can make purple. So I have a couple of different manufacturers of paint. So as I'm doing the spray out, it's really important that I'm going to be replicating the process to a T so I can go ahead and make sure I'm not gonna have any problem with the paint wanting to work with each other or not wanting to work with each other. So this pearl right here, this is a lilac ready to spray. So this is kind of like a pinkish purple. So long as it's not pink, I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of how the lilacs look and I think that looks pretty good. And then I have, this is a red pearl just from a mixing bank. So this is really vibrant red. This is going to manipulate the color quite a bit. So we have red right here. And then we have, this is like a ghost blue color. So that's the red. This is the blue. The blue looks really cool. This car from factory had a blue pearl on top of a black or within the black. So that looks kind of factory-esque. I want to get away from factory-esque a little bit. So what I was thinking is we take the red, we take the blue, we mix it together a little bit. Hopefully we can come up with the purple. And I want to see. One thing that I'm thinking is the red is really strong. The blue is not as strong. So if I did a 50-50, I don't think it would work exactly how I want it, but I don't have to think because we're gonna go ahead and spray these things out. So let me get this mixed up with a little bit of binder. This is just a clear, it's binder. It's not reducer, it's binder. It's gonna help hold everything together. Once I get my correct mix ratio, we're going to then reduce it. So here is what we have for test panels for sheets. I wanted to go ahead and label it so that way I can have a clear understanding of what is what because if you didn't keep track, you're just messing up anyway. So starting from the left side, we're going with red. Then on the far right, we're going to have the blue side. And then that's going to be 50-50 blue and red. Then we're going to have 75 25 now the lesser number is always going to be red i suspect the more red the closer to pink it's going to be and i'm trying to stay away from pink the so 75 25 red blue red 90 10 blue 90 10 red and then lilac so we have blue different percentages from left to right now the top is going to be two coats of pearl the bottom is going to be one coat of pearl
Now every one of these spray outs is obviously going to be a little bit of a different color. The reason why I wanted to label it so well is so that way whichever variation I could like the most we can dial it down exactly precisely on how I want to get my pearl mixed up in the end. This is just like a tri-coat process. It's going to be black, pearl, then clear. Alright, so right now, surprisingly, I'm a little more happy with some of these than I was anticipating, a little bit more than I was expecting. So, something that I found off the bat, I'm going to be focusing on row number one as opposed to row number two. Two coats is too heavy, it manipulates the color too much. I want everything, I want it to look black. You know, I want the car to be black on the sides, but when you get around those hips and you get around those high points, I want it to show off a different shimmer or a different shade. So blue, nah. 50-50 looks pretty good. The lilac also looks pretty good. The 90-10 looks too blue. I was honestly thinking the 90-10 was going to be closest to purple because it has the least amount of red, but realistically, I'm liking right now 75-25 row number one, lilac number one, and 50-50 number one. We'll go ahead and get clear thrown on there and then we'll see how it looks We'll see how it looks out in the sun. Also in just a minute I gotta go pick up Ava from school so I'd be curious to see what she thinks as well because her opinion is worth, uh, is worth a lot of points so if she's gonna be happy with it I think that's cool. For me honestly I could really care less what it's going to be. I think no matter what, it's going to look good, but I want to know what you think, and then I'll see what she thinks here in a minute. So let's get that clear coat done. Then I got to go run over to school, dad stuff. You know how it goes. Okay, Ava, how was school? Good. Good? You wanna help me pick a color? Yeah. What? Didn't that be here? They're colors. I like this one. Okay, and then which one on the bottom? Um, I kind of like... No. So I think I'll pick this purple. That one? Lilac? Uh-huh, lilac. I like the lilac too. The lilac looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll do lilac. Anything else, Ava? Um, Got anything good? Anything good going on? Yeah. All right, so really quickly, we looked at the colors with a flashlight, but I want to go ahead and bring them outside, and I want to bend that card around so that way we can get a really good idea of what the color is going to do, how it is going to dance, how it is going to look. I have completely wrote off the two layers. That's not what I'm going for, so whenever I do the entire process or whenever you're voting for what your favorite is, I'm just going to be doing it one coat. Now it's kind of between 50-50, 75-25, 90-10, I think it's too blue, but if you like that, let me know. And then lilac. So I'm really liking 50-50, 75-25, and lilac. But if you like blue, if you like red, or just whatever you think. So let me uh, let me show you them in the sun. What, Ava? Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Okay. Say it. Say it. How are you going to say it now? Daddy got the, Daddy got the old paper on him. I got an old what? I want a pamper with a diaper, with a panty. I got a pamper. <laughs> so this is 50-50. Ava, uh, yeah. So this is 50-50. As you can see around the corner, it gets to be a little bit purple. But then on the edge, we just have black. So that's kind of the shimmer effect working like it's supposed to. So that was 50-50. Here is 75-25. Pretty similar, more on the blue side. I think that looks pretty nice as well. Ava, bring me the next one. Here, this is the lilac. This, the lilac seems to be the most purpley color. Oh my goodness, Ava. So that one looks pretty cool. Black and some lighting looks really good. When the sun hits it, we got that hue that I was going for. So lilac looks good. One right here is 90-10. So 
blue, 10% red. So this is going to be a lot more blue than purple. Let me get all blue so you can see the difference. This is 100% blue, more of an OEM vibe. I think that looks good if I was going for that, but I think the purple is a little more is a little more loud, and I'm going for loud. I want this car to be a car that's going to stand out. Blue to me looks a little bit too factory, but let me know what you think. Blue looks pretty good. And this <clears throat> this is red 100%. I think that looks pretty good as well. Almost like a dark cherry as it's the red over the black. I like that. Pretty cool, but I'm more so going for the purple. This looks pretty good. I think all of these colors over black work really nicely for the effect that I want. Black when you see it this way, colored when you see it that way. And now we have some more words from Ava. Ava, let's bring the camera in the shop so you can tell them. So, we... Ava, so, tell them, tell them that we want to know what color they like the best. And tell them what color you like the best. Okay. Go ahead, tell them. Okay. Do you like the lilac or the cherry pinkish or the purplish? Of the purple is lightish or the blue? Daddy. Are you done? Nope. Yeah. Keep telling them. Do you got any questions? All right, so thank you, Ava. I appreciate that. So the thing that I think is so cool about these colors and about this process and what I'm going for, if you can see, they're all black looking. You can't even really tell the difference of which one is which. I mean, you can a little bit. What, baby? It looks all black. Pretty good. Pretty cool. But then when you get the light on them, they are drastically, drastically different. So that's all blue. That's 50-50. That's 75-25. That's 90-10. That's our lilac right there. That's all red. So it kind of goes in order from bluest, that is the most amount of red in any of them, middle amount of red, less red, lilac, just lilac, but there is actually a little bit of blue flake mixed in here. We were just messing around at the paint store. So if I were to choose the lilac, it would be this lilac color, but none of those blue flake, unless I wanted to. If I wanted to, that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, like I said, you can kind of see the differentiation in the colors. Looking really good, but again, black this way, colored that way. Really cool. Pink cherry or purple lilac? It is up to you. You pick a color, you let me know what you think. I want to see the comments on this video going as high as the views go. If you're watching this video, just give an opinion. I want to know what you think, like I said. So, I will decide by the time we paint the car, based on the comments. Now Ava gets multiple votes because she is, you know, she's the kid, so she gets multiple votes. But either way, depending on how it goes, like I said, one of these colors will be the color of the car and I'm really excited for that. So subscribe to see all that stuff. Like this video, comment, subscribe, like I literally just said. Ava, you got anything else or we're good to go? Okay, goodbye, see ya, I'm out. Say bye, Ava.